Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. It is day 11 of Hidden Figures, and today's Hidden Figure is Patricia Bath, um, who was suggested. You guys have been making a lot of really, really, really great requests. Um, so this one's probably going to be a little bit long, because this woman has done a lot. So let me just get right into it. Patricia Bath is an American ophthalmologist, inventor, and academic. She has broken ground for women and African Americans in a number of areas, Prior to Bath, no woman had served on the staff of the Jules Stein Eye Institute, headed a postgraduate training program in ophthalmology, or been elected to the honorary staff of the UCLA Medical Center. Before Bath, no black person had served as a resident in ophthalmology at New York University, and no black woman had ever served on staff as a surgeon at the UCLA Medical Center. Bath is the first African-American woman doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. The holder of four patents, she also founded the company of the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness in Washington, D.C. And I'm familiar with that company. I did not know it was started by a black woman. Born on November 4th, 1942, the daughter of Rupert and Gladys Bath, she was raised in Harlem and struggled with racism, sexism, and poverty, though she was encouraged academically by her parents. It was evident by Bath's teachers that she was a gifted student, and they pushed her to explore her strengths in school. With the help of a microscope set that she was given as a young child, Bath knew she had a love for math and science. Excuse me. She attended Charles Evans Hughes High School, where she excelled at such a rapid pace that she received her diploma in just two and a half years. Inspired by Albert Schweitzer's work in medicine, Beth applied for and won a National Science Foundation scholarship while attending high school. This led her to a research project at Yeshiva University and Harlem Hospital Center on the connection between cancer, nutrition, and stress. This helped her interests shift from science to medicine. The head of the research program realized the significance of her findings and published them in a scientific paper that he later presented. And in 1960, while still a teenager, Bath won the Merit Award of Mademoiselle Magazine for her contribution to the project. Bath received her Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry from Manhattan's Hunter College in 1964. She relocated to Washington, D.C. to attend Howard University College of Medicine, from which she received her doctoral degree in 1968. During her time at Howard, she was president of the Student National Medical Association and received fellowships from the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Mental Health. Bath interned at ha Harlem, excuse me, Harlem Hospital Center, subsequently serving as a fellow at Columbia University. She was aware that the practice of eye care was uneven among racial minorities and poor populations, which with a much higher incidence of blindness among her black and poor patients. She determined that as a physician, she would help address this issue. And so she persuaded her professors from Columbia to operate on blind patients at Harlem Hospital Center, which had previously not offered eye surgery at no cost. Bath pioneered the worldwide discipline of community ophthalmology, a volunteer-based outreach to bring necessary eye care to underserved populations. She served her residency in ophthalmology at New York University from 1970 to 1973, the first African American to do so in her field. In 1974, after completing her education, Bath became the first African American woman surgeon at the University of California Los Angeles Medical Center, and in 1975, she became the first woman faculty member of the UCLA Jules Stein Eye Institute. In 1978, Bath co-founded the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, for which she served as president. And in 1983, she became the head of residency in her field at Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science, the first woman ever to head such a department. In 1993, she retired from UCLA, which subsequently elected her the first woman on its honorary staff. She served as professor of ophthalmology at Howard University School of Medicine and as a professor of telemedicine and ophthalmology at St. George's University. She was among the co-founders of the King Drew Medical Center Ophthalmology Training Program. Bath has also lectured internationally and authored over 100 papers, and she holds four patents in the United States. 
1981, Bath conceived of her invention, the laser phaco probe. She traveled to Berlin University in Germany to learn more about laser technology, and over the course of the next five years, she developed and tested a model for a laser instrument that could be tested to remove cataracts. Bath received a patent for her invention on May 17, 1988, and became the first African-American female doctor to receive a patent for a medical invention. The device, which quickly and nearly painlessly dissolves the cataract with a laser, irrigates and cleans the eye and permits the easy insertion of a new lens. It is used internationally to treat the disease. Bath has continued to improve the device and has successfully restored vision to people who have been unable to see for decades. She continued to work at UCLA and Drew University during the development of her laser cataract removal instrument, and in 1983, she developed and chaired an ophthalmology residency training program around it. From 1983 to 1986, Bath was the first woman chair and first female program director of a postgraduate training program in the United States, and in 1993, Bath retired from the UCLA Medical Center. She was inducted into the International Women in Medicine Hall of Fame in 2001, and she's still alive. She's 75 years old, I believe, still kicking. And the quote that I want to read you guys from Dr. Patricia Bath, uh, inventor and groundbreaker, is, do not allow your mind to be imprisoned by majority thinking. Remember that the limits of science are not the limits of imagination. Dr. Patricia Bath, in figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. See you tomorrow. Peace.